In this video, I will make a 3D Pac-Man game from scratch. Am I able to recreate it? Will it be interesting to play and look good? Let's figure this out. Also, if you end up liking this video, consider subscribing to my channel. It will help me a lot. Enjoy the video, guys. It all started a few months ago. I was looking at the Pac-Man and I've come up with an interesting conclusion. Is that Pac-Man has either an open or a closed mouth. Genius, right? And it made me think, hmm, maybe I can recreate the same behavior in 3D? So what I did is that at first I generated such a three-dimensional sphere, and then generated the same 3D sphere, but with one missing segment. What this allowed me to do is to exchange them over time to get an effect like this. And what's more exciting, I've applied the same idea to create more such cheesy spheres. By swapping them over time, I have much more smooth mouth motion. And I don't know guys, it just looks really good. What do you think? More Pac-Mans! Yeah! With that being done, I decided not to stop, of course. I've generated a ghost body, eyes of course too. Oops. Those are too big. This is nice. If I'm not mistaken, this ghost is called Blinky. Just like that I've generated also Inky, Pinky and Clyde. With the same idea as with Pac-Man Mouth, I've created a few curvy lines as well. And now, by swapping them over time, I get really nice vulnerable ghost mouth movement. Wow, wow, the whole ghost team is together, cool. For the maze, I want to remake the original one from the game. So my idea is to draw the pixel art image of this maze first. And then load this image into the game and generate some walls based on it. Now we have this famous Pac-Man maze! And the great thing is that I can also change the colors of the walls. And to be honest, this feature for me is really satisfying. Now I want to teach Pac-Man how to walk. Oops, but not through the walls, of course. <laughs> yeah, it looks much better now. I've also added two teleports, so that Pac-Man is now able to warp around the map. Now it's time to add pellets. And those pellets are sort of a food for Pac-Man. As you can see, I've placed them in the level, and it took me a lot amount of time to do because there are many of them. Also, I've added power pellets. In the future, they will give Pac-Man a kind of a super power. But for now, I've also taught Pac-Man to eat all of those pellets with his famous waka waka sound. Or maybe this sound is better, I don't know. Then I've created those fruit models, placed them in a map, and now Pac-Man can eat them too. Now, if Pac-Man touches a ghost, it will blow up and die. And speaking about ghosts, I've implemented two types of behavior for them. As you can see, the ghosts of the first type will try to aggressively chase you and try to catch you. And ghosts of the second type will just randomly walk around the maze and they will not try to catch you. But of course, if you bump into one, nothing will save you, my friend. <laughs> When getting a power pellet, all ghosts will enter a vulnerable state. And if Pac-Man then eats a ghost, this ghost will return to the enemy house and it will be reborn. And 
Just like that, I've implemented a bunch of other game features. Like for example a user interface displaying number of health and the score. Also, a text popping up displaying the number of score points you got from the item. I've also added a countdown before the game starts. And win or fail screens when the game finishes. So, let's take a moment and see how a complete game looks for now. Well, this is it, the Pac-Man game in 3D. I'm really proud of the game I made and I really like playing it. And I really hope that you like it as well, guys. I do think that this game is quite difficult, but never mind, I still think it's awesome. Guys, let me kindly ask you to leave this video a like and subscribe. This will help me a lot. Thank you all very much for watching this video. By the way, this is not the first Pac-Man game that I made. The first one was Lego Pac-Man, so if you are interested, then check it out.